Rated M for Mature. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 4. In the previous video, we sided with Jonathan and decided to take down the leader of the Ring of Gaia and the Black Samurai, which happened to be the same person, Lilith the Demon. Now, I decided to grind off screen because basically, I thought my demons were not really strong enough to take on this next challenge. Now, I did so much stuff off screen, it's actually going to be very difficult to summarize what I did. Basically, I increased our stock, we can now hold 13 demons. I actually, uh, let's check out our party real quick. I combined uh, two demons to make a Gur. Now, this Gur is actually, let's actually check it out. He is a Arachni and that King Frost we fused a couple episodes ago. I recommend... If you are having problems with this next demon, to get a Vermin Arachne. Because she actually has a skill that is super effective against the next boss that we're going to be countering. And Gur has pretty decent dexterity, sort of. So keep that in mind. I also got a Balor, which will learn Aggie 3. I got Nebros, which we're going to combine very soon. Uh, I got a Hypixie. I actually fused that in a previous video. So that's not really something I got off screen. We got a Hairy Jack from Shibuya. And we got a Poltergeist from Ueno. Now, the reason that we got these demons, we're going to be summoning one of the most popular demons of all time, basically. First thing we need to do, though, is we need to get ourselves... Hmm. We're going to get two demons of the Yoma race. You're probably thinking, John, what the crew? Why, why are you stinking some of the god dang Minotaur again? You summon that thing like a billion times. Yes, you're absolutely right. Because it's extremely cheap. And yes, I already have that demon. So what we're going to do is now we're going to come over to Fusion. We're going to take the Centaur. And combine him with that Agathian to make the element arrows. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why the crap are you doing this? Is it really that important? No. The demon that I'm trying to get can be gotten through easier ways, but I find this to be honestly the cheapest. And alright, everyone got a decent amount of EXP. Now we're going to combine this Eros with that Silky to make up, oh, there she is, Nadja, who's kind of a weird demon. I don't recall her folklore at all, actually, but. I think she's from a book or something, I don't know. Anyways, this is the demon that we're searching for. She's the next in line of the fairy race, which I could have probably just thrown together elements to actually make it with good skills, but didn't really matter. Anywho, now that we have that demon, a new fusion has been unlocked. The Undead Alice, yes, is pretty much one of the most popular characters in all of Shimigami because, well, it's Alice from Alice in Wonderland. This demon has amazing stats and learns just about the best moves in the game. Seriously, she has resistant to physical attacks and repels gunshots. That's a pretty cool little girl, if you ask me. And here we're going to give her signature move, Die For Me, which will necessarily kill everything on the screen, as long as they're not immune to Mudo. Pretty much the best Mudo skill ever. Now, so we're going to give her Dream Needle. That's going to be pretty helpful in the next battle. Now, I really can't take advantage of her extremely good magic stat because, well, I don't have any magic stuff. But that's not to say, I'm not trying to say this is the best way to make Alice. It's definitely not. This is how I decided to make Alice just to aid me in this next battle. And yes, the Poltergeist, the Nadja, the Harry Jack, and the High Pixie combined to make one of the most popular demons ever. Why it's the most popular, I don't know. People just like saying die for me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying she's not cool, but I never got it. I'm personally a Thane to guy. He's kind of my favorite, personally. <laughs> But well, that's an entirely different game anyways. Hmm. And there she is. Alice from Alice in Wonderland. You mister. You gotta die for me, right? So die. Hurry up and die. Why won't you die for me? <laughs> and yes, Undead Alice is now ours. Die, everyone. <laughs> hey, that's just adorable. And yes, that's basically our new party member. Now, we're going to fuse to another demons. We're gonna get that Nebros that we got off screen. And we're gonna make Urubas, which is gonna combine Kaiming Shao. Uh, his physical moves, and also, well, give him Spring of Life. Null Physical, which is an extremely good move. Doping. Mortal Jihad, Physical Boost. Um, sure, why not Raccoon? No, yeah, Raccoonda in Charge. This is basically going to be our Jack of all trades. Uh, even though, pretty sure this is a girl, but it doesn't really matter. It's a stinking snake with wings, and... <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so I was trying to make a snake noise, but I sound like a giant idiot. Anyways. So now, we're almost done here, we simply got to, no, not going there, got to go on the compendium again. And our final demon that we're going to be creating is used by using a Flamus. Now, I realize you can make Flamus much cheaper than that, 
But that's who I had in the compendium, so I was like, I don't even care, let's just stink into it. Anyway, we're going to combine Flamus with, uh, what's her name? She's the middle sister, so I always forget. <laughs> oh yeah, Lachicious, or whatever, to make Astropos. Or at Atropos, I don't stink enough. This is an extremely good cleric, not only because she has a gunshot, which is pretty good, I guess she shoots a bullet out of those scissors, but she learns the next uh, ZO3 and Zon3 moves, which we obviously don't have yet, so we definitely want to get those. Let's, uh, get the spell moves don't really matter. Let's get all the buffs, and yeah, that looks good to me. Let's make this chick. Wait, crap. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hit the wrong button by accident. I was a little bit worried. Now, this is honestly, in my uh, opinion, my favorite of the girls, because she has that cool head thing, and, it, and she's totally happy to meet me. Oh my gosh. Stop! You're gonna make me blush! Anywho, now that we have all three of the sisters, the Megami Norn will now be fusible. But that's not until way later, so yeah, just keep that in the back of your head. That's pretty much why I decided to um use both or uh, all three of the sisters. So I thought that was kind of cool. Anywho, let's summon our new guys. Or actually, they're all girls, technically. We've got Alice Urubas and Astropos. They're ready to battle. So what do you guys say we go take on Lilith? For the sake of everyone in Kichi Georgie. I'm detecting a strong... You, what do you want with me now? I heard the story from your friend. You really couldn't accept my ideals? Lilith, the Black Samurai. All the regrets of those you beguiled into abandoning their humanity. All the grief you have caused me by tearing our friendship asunder. I shall quell it all here. Prepare yourself, witch! I showed you the unworthiness of your rulers, but it seems you'd rather live as their slave. You son of man. They who have debased themselves as the tools of an arrogant god. I shall show you the power of demons, the part of you that you deny. Perish in my bosom. I'll free your souls from pain. Perish in my bosom. I don't think I've heard that battle cry before. Anyways, this is the battle with Lilith. Now, she is weak to one thing. Bullets. Shoot her. Yeah, that's pretty much it. She's actually resistant to elemental skills, so I recommend not using them. We're going to start off the battle by using doping. Now, the thing about Lilith is, she's kind of different from every boss we fought so far. Most of them will not negate the status like you know stat decreases and increases on our part however she does she'll use a move called silent prayer which we don't want to see because basically you'll make all of our turns mute now hmm i can't really decide i guess we'll just use dream needle come on connect yay all right despite alice not really being a mainly physical attacker her bullets still do a ton of damage so that's pretty good and uh Uru boss you can just charge and we get a mortal jihad going next turn Alright, uh, I guess. You can just concentrate too, who gives a crud? So we're basically just charging up for next turn, and look how much this does. 33 damage, come on, Jonathan. I know you got more than that. Ooh, Maziodine, ah! However, Uru Boss actually absorbs electricity, which makes him extremely useful in this battle. And did I already concentrate? Yeah. I'm actually just gonna shoot her again. See how much damage that does? Alright. Pretty bad, but that's not the point. Now let's go. Ooh, this is so risky, but I feel like it's gonna happen. Let's use a mortal jihad on Lilith. Ugh! Do you hate me? You do because I want to change the world. Now, let me see that hatred in your face. Let it heat your blows. Hmm. You know, I really don't want to give Lilith the satisfaction of knowing I'm actually enjoying kicking her butt. So let's just smile at her. What a filthy smile. It reeks of God's hypocrisy. Wipe it off your face at once. Don't look at me with those empty, rotting eyes. And she seemed to not enjoy my happy demeanor, and thus her defenses are decreased. Now, can I just mention, wow, Uruboss did a thousand damage in one hit. That's pretty crazy, anywho. We're gonna ask you for another Talchum shot. We can actually use my protagonist's turn to heal up, because, well, to be honest, ooh, I really hope this connects. Come on. Awesome. Sweet. Okay, so now we just need to heal everybody up. Now, if Lilith actually gets the chance, you can put your entire team to sleep, which is really aggravating, but it does happen, so you need to be careful for that, too. 
Let's see, here's another Tales from Shot, and wow, that's getting you so much. Oh, 485. That's crazy. Let's actually just use Energy Drain, because we are concentrated after all. Oh no, I missed. Darn it. Poor Alice, she never hits when she needs to. <laughs> Alright, oh, Dream Needle Crud. That is not what I want to see, and there we go, Silent Prayer. That would negate all status debuffs, including the one that was, like, given in that stinking, like, dialogue thing. So that's kind of annoying. But anywho, that's, uh, our charge is actually already set up, so let's go for Mortal Jihad. Do you see? Look at the power you have in battle. Mm, don't you? The thrill of combat. The rush of power that surges from within. Hmm, well, I definitely do feel that, but... You know, I can't really think her that I'm on her side. I can't really agree with her mentality. So even though I am feeling that surge, I just gotta lie here. Are you saying you have given up both your mind and body completely to God? How oh, hideous. Hideous? <laughs> and her body bellows in disgust and more defense decreases. Awesome. I'm actually going to go for another dream needle. Ugh, so much damage, man. Alright, do another one of these. Oh no, it missed. Darn, that sucks. Oh well. Such is the risk in using gunshot moves. And Oh crap. That is not good. Oh, well, <laughs> Alice actually reflected the bullet. And that is why you don't shoot little girls, because they will actually reflect the bullets with their iron skin. Anyways, we're going to charge up another attack from Urubas. Alright. Or Urubas. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Anyways, another Dream Meal is going to connect, and ooh, Alice is smirking. Very nice. Let's use Talthum Shot again. And this is basically the battle. We're just doing continual drive-bys by Alice, so... Yeah. Poor humans. Why do you think God created you? What? To use you as tools. You have been nothing but God's slave since you were born. I won't be swayed by this blasphemy! That's why I gave you knowledge and wisdom. That is where the power to break the fetters of slavery lies. So that you may recover the instincts you have long suppressed. The demonic path with you. That is nothing more than an excuse you demons trot out so that you are suffered to live. You destroyed our paradise with this poison dressed as knowledge. <laughs> humans are truly And you know, now that I'm thinking about it a little more, I don't think killing Lilith was necessarily the best thing we could have done. It's all over. Indeed it is. Your fantasy of that vile world is finished. No. I am referring to you. For the gate to the Expanse is being opened as we speak by a youth armed with knowledge and wisdom, by the hand of one you know very well, your friend. The Gate of the Expanse? She couldn't be talking about Walter, could she? Either that or Isabel, but more likely Walter. Congratulations on completing the quest. And hey, we did it. We beat two at once, which is going to give us a max is a crazy amount of EXP. Boom! Look at that. It's getting crazy. And then we just completed another quest. Holy crap! Look at that. Bam! Uh, everybody on our team actually got to level up. It's pretty nice. I'm just going to zoom past all this. Now, for the sake of fairness, I'm basically not going to put any more points into magic till like, agility's at least a little bit more in there, basically, because, man, it's just ridiculous how powerful I am at this point. So the game's literally become so easy to me, I want to make it, like, not as easy. I want to give myself a handicap. And no, that skill's pretty useless. No, thank you. And all right, come on, get the skill. Yes! Oh my gosh. It's going to get Zeodyne. It's pretty nice. We're going to eventually want to transfer that skill onto the protagonist. And hey, Dominion, you got to level up. It's going to learn one of the most useless skills ever, Rakarmdura. Basically, it sacrifices himself to heal up everybody else, or uh, revive everybody else. And no, I'm satisfied. Thanks a ton. And Gur is going to level up. Ooh. And come on, Belor, give me Aggie Come on. Now all I gotta do is track down where Bufu Dine is. Phew. It was a long, hard battle. Seeing it over brings a tear to my eye, so to speak. We've defeated the Black Samurai at last. But the victory rings hollow. 
Those last words she spoke, the gate of the expanse, and her mention of our friend, gives me grave misgivings. Tayama told us once that Yuriko coveted the generator, the Yamato perpetual reactor. What was Lilith's scheme? I'll register that as a new quest on the list. Something's telling me that she wasn't after the electricity. Perhaps there's something there that Tayama didn't tell us about. Either way, we're gonna have to head over there. And you're probably thinking, where the dump is this, John? We've been almost all over Tokyo. Where the credit is it? Well, I'm better to show you. As soon as I get show off, die for me in action. And, ugh. I was hoping for an enemy to actually run into me, but no dice, unfortunately. And yeah, I probably made Lilith look extremely easy. It's not. So make sure your demons have at least some immunity to electricity and bullets. That's pretty darn nice. As you can see, she couldn't even touch me in the last battle. Anywho, we need to actually go back to Shibuya because I said so. And prior to defeating Lilith, um, there would be a guy guarding a certain street, and he'd be like, Hey, you're not allowed in here, punk, because I got a shovel or whatever, a stick. And now that guy's not there. So that basically means it's time for us to investigate on what he was guarding. Ooh. Could it be the Yamato reactor? Well, yeah, it is, basically. And, hmm, I sure hope Walter's okay. I mean, Lilith Kit did kind of mess him up in the head. I mean, it does really seem like what mostly Walter was saying, like a world where the strong can choose their own destiny. I mean, that seems pretty reasonable. I mean, it's not totally the most barbaric thing I've ever heard. The fact remains, he was <laughs> coercing with a demon. That's kind of not good. Oh, gosh, I got ambushed. No, actually, I didn't. Right, let's see, is anybody here we are immune to Mudo? Nope. So let's actually just skip turns to Alice and use die for me. Ugh. Pretty cool. <laughs> Most of the time I'll hit just about everything on the screen, but that time I didn't, so... Alice has pretty decent luck, so... Basically, nine times out of ten, they'll kill everything on the screen as long as they don't have resistant to Mudo, so... All around a pretty good skill to pass on to other demons and whatnot. But, the issue with the undead is... Or the undead race, I guess I should say. Is the fact they can't pass skills on very easily. And I'll get more into that later. As we just auto down all these jerks, gosh dang, why are these guys annoying me? Confound it. And, um, right over here actually is another, um, demon domain. However, if you go in here, there's really just like a bonus item to get. What we're actually after is this little square right over here. Mm hmm. Don't, don't hurt me, man. I surrender. I'll even lick your boots. Huh? Oh, don't scare me like that. I thought that kid was back. What happened? Some kid came out of nowhere and then told me to get out of his way. And I thought, hell no. I wasn't going to let his punk ass through, so I went after him. But he killed all my demons. He went straight in without even looking at me. He was... He was about you guys' age, but from the look in his eyes, he was anything but a law-abiding citizen. Sorry, Mr. Tayama, but I'm done. See ya. Well, that definitely sounds like Walter. And did you notice that pile of rocks? I guess there's an extremely powerful demon that Walter took down just to get into this place. Yeah, I would not want to get in his way. And yes, this is... The next map of the game. It's pretty short, but a tiny bit confusing. This is, drumroll please, Camp Ichigaya. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce the first part of that. Anywho, this place has a variety of treasures you can get in here. However, the best one's pretty much at the bottom. Now this place is confusing. So yeah, oh gosh, da what? I swear that was not there when I did my practice. I thought, what? Oh, a good thing I'm dealing with complete morons here. You can't even damage me properly, anyhow. So we're actually going to take down these people with Megidola, and yeah. Those guys in the center, I believe, are weak to fire, so... Oh, come on! No, they're not weak to fire. I think they're weak to Bufu. This guy over here is definitely weak to fire, because that is Orcus. He was a recurring character, and you're actually seeing the Lachishis, or the Atropos sisters. I don't know what their stinking names are. Pardon me, but... 
they're actually reoccurring enemies in here. Now let's actually come down. We're basically trying to descend as many stairs as possible. And I think this is the second floor. We're trying to get to the third. Hmm. I wonder what this random battle is. And as it turns out, that was just rumor, random bullcrap we've already seen. Now, you can actually recruit an Uru boss here. However, it won't have nearly as good as moves as mine does. However, having a snake race that high level is definitely pretty good. Let's come down here. Now, I'm probably skipping over some pretty okay treasures, but the fact remains that there is one unfriendly man right in front of us. He uh, seems quite alarmed by our presence. Huh. Oh man, seems like Walter really beat the crap out of this guy. Oh man, so much that he's dead. Goodness. Jeez, it really seems like Walter is really ticked off. And I'm getting really tired of these traps, dude. Come on. Oh hey, it's all the sisters at once. That's pretty cool. It's like they're holding the thread and they're spinning it and then they're cutting it. It's just like how it was in the movies. Except they died. Oh no. <laughs> So yeah, the enemies down here, not really too challenging for me. Alright, so this is the third floor that had that guy we had to talk to. Let's try this door. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is definitely where we need to be. So, uh, hmm. That was definitely about three minutes of wasted time. Very unfortunate, but hey, at least I got some decent treasures in the XP, and wow, these, <laughs> these demons are just laughably pathetic. Anywho, um, that's pretty much gonna do it for this episode of Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, actually, I want to get this chest really quick. Yeah, magic ring. Anywho, I'm gonna do, um, there's actually a demon that I wanted, which is that one playing, like, the guitar or whatever. Its name escapes me. But yeah, um, we've made it to the bottom of, uh, Camp Ichikaya. So, in the next video, we're gonna see what's behind this door. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.